Okay, folks, you are uh, in with Cheetah's Guide to the Universe again. Um, you can hear the music, I'm certain. Uh, that music is uh, being piped in. <laughs> no, uh, I'm going to switch it over to my headphones. That's one of these guys to kind of have this epic music a bit in the background. Uh, nothing too crazy. Um, it's the music for Elder Scrolls uh, Legends, and this is a, a card game. Um, I found out about this because it's a little bit like Hearthstone. I'm not a Hearthstone player. Um, not, I don't have anything against Blizzard or anything, but I, I just wanted to check this out because it seemed interesting. It sounded like it was a little bit different, and so I've been in on the beta for this. And we're going to check it out a little bit. As you can see, I've played through the prologue in a couple chapters. Uh, we'll play the prologue for you guys in a separate video. This video, we're just going to do this new chapter, which I have not started yet. So you'll see a little bit of the story uh, and the cards a bit. Um, and I'll try not to talk too much. You guys can kind of see how the game uh, runs on its own with me doing too little input until the actual matches start. But again, this is a a, a card-based game, uh, similar to Hearthstone, not exactly the same. Um, still going with that digital format, so that you don't have to any of the issues of, uh, of of buying any cards or doing an ARG card-based scenario. One of the things that I will say, having played just a little bit, as you can see those first three chapters, um, one thing I will say is that I actually really find it, uh, almost in the same way Gwent is refreshing, I kind of find it refreshing in how they approach uh, some of the cards. I can see how they're definitely going to have, you know, microtransactions, uh, probably, to buy packs of cards and increase your deck size, and things like that, but for right now, I, I, I like this 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 uh this format even if it does carry a price tag or like i said has that that freemium you know fee to pay kind of kind of thing going um but again i am not a hardcore gamer i just like some hardcore games um and this is one of those more casual relaxing hopefully you guys will get into it i i think if they have an, a phone app for this and it very does it very much seems like it could run on a phone uh if they have a phone app for this if they have maybe um, a way to play this, you know, smaller scale on like Windows or on a tablet. Um, I said Windows. I'm at Facebook. Um, if they can find a way to kind of integrate this into that mobile-ish culture, I think they could really have a, a hit on their hands. And you'll kind of see why here in just a second. So we're going to go into the game here. Um, words unnerve the hero. They journeyed north to meet Mana. The sorceress friend of tears, well versed in daedric matters. But the road ahead was far from clear. Note what we have here. Stand up, T. Hand over your coin when you die. This is our road. Nobody passes without paying a tribute. We haven't got any. As for taking our lives. So, they have these kind of vignettes. Uh, like, alright, so, I'll be honest here, I'm an older guy, um, though not too old, I, I really kind of dig these vignettes, uh, with the, the, uh, the, uh, you know, old school, um, switch, you know, switch page style animation, basically there's no actual animating, they just drew a page, and it does the slight motion with the, the character models, or just kind of flips, uh, when I was a kid, that used to be how a lot of, of uh, cheap cartoons were done. So you had He-Man on television, but there was a He-Man movie that was just all, we're going to slide this this character model on this page. Very slight animation. I don't even know what it's called. Um, but I used to absolutely love stuff like that. Like, it's it's not um, it's not big time, you know, money spent, but it was just, as a kid, I don't know, they were just kind of cool to me. Uh, Black Panther, uh, in the early 2000s, mid-2000s, mid did a series on BET like this. Um, and, like, go check that out. It's really amazing. But I like that. It's just I, very, very old school, very, uh, very, like, hey, we don't have a lot of money to spend on this uh, kind of thing. And that's the other thing I said. Like I said, this kind of stuff, even this little effect here uh, that you can see kind of going around the photo and, all of course, all the titles and whatnot. Even all of that stuff, I feel like you could easily um, 
get done uh, in a phone environment um, or definitely in a tablet environment. And you can see, like I said, it doesn't seem so overly produced you couldn't use it, but it does look nice on PC. So I really do hope there's a mobile version of this because I would totally play this. And you'll see why here in a second. Like I said, we're going to go in and, and really get a look at it. Um, but I like it. All right, so of course there's my name, Nar Nario Dane. Um, find me on Steam under that same name. For every right. five health you lose, you will lose a rune and draw a card. Okay. So. Everyone pays a toll. One of the things about the game is um, we have a couple options. Obviously, the skull here is really just your discard pile. That's your deck. Uh, this is your magicka. So you are able to place cards down in lanes. There, obviously, this match there are two lanes. Uh, most matches will have two lanes, but in the tutorial you only have one. And we'll kind of play the tutorial a little bit later, um, just to kind of show you that real quick. Uh, but they're only these two lanes. You. You can only attack what's in that lane, so it keeps it kind of fast. I'm going really slowly here to show you this stuff. But you can only cast however much magicka you have. So instead of the, like, just like the cards have, you can see um, the cards each have their their power and defense. Uh, but they also have that casting cost of your magicka. So to put this card down, I only need one. To put this down, I need four. Uh, and I'll tell you more about this card because it's kind of important. Um, not really important, but just interestingly important. You can see that's another one of those, you know, just just needs a couple. Um, same thing here. You know, these, these cards each have their numbers on them. That's how much magicka you need. You gain one magicka every turn. Uh, and it, if you don't use it, that just gets tacked onto what you have available. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually something a little tricky. Uh, and let's see if it works. Because I think it'll work. All right. So we're going to do something that I would not normally do, but I'm being extremely uh, cheeky with this first turn. Um, so on first turn, your, your summon creatures can't do any effects, but you saw how that card has a card effect. That gave it two more defense. The attack power on this South Road Brigand is only a two which means that he can't. He's not going to attack my medic uh, because there's no way that he can defeat that card. Um, but it's also a one summon, so I was using the one magic I had. So when you summon a card, they can't attack the same turn unless they have charge. Um, and that's the kind of benefit of the game. There are cards that can, like I said, attack right away. And I don't have one of those out right now, but I do have one in my deck. Um, so we'll show you guys that here real hopefully that, that card will pop here soon it's not a high-end card so it should be able to go cast out next turn or maybe the turn right after it, I can't remember um, but yeah this is the first set of cards let's see what the next turn does your coin for your life. <laughs> and of course numbered. let's take some of them out before they overwhelm us one of the things is you can at any time, unlike other car, unlike other games, you can at any time uh, go right out and attack uh, the person directly. So to get around the fact that he couldn't handle my medic, he went ahead and attacked me. So what we got to do is get somebody who can one turn take out their guy. Well, hmm. I think, I think we're going to do something a little dangerous. And... Halt in the name of the Yara! Tell me where it hurts. So, what I did there was I wanted to uh, 
kind of thin the herd but get myself in a better defensive position. This uh, Hellstrom footpad is probably going to attack me directly since, uh, or it might it might move to try and take out my medic or, or my scuttler. But regardless, I'm probably going to take damage from whatever it does because it's got a three. I don't have anything with a three defense. Uh, so I, I actually really like this position I'm in because three to one, he's going to bring out one more that can't attack this turn. He's got to know that I'm basically just building strength to come after him, and he's going to have to bring something over in this lane or else I just have free shots, um, which is kind of what I'm hoping for. Again, next turn, I'll at least be able to get this card out and possibly one other card. We'll see how that goes. Uh, even though I'm down two life, I'm in a better position than he is. So we're going to we're gonna hope and pray that I, that I can pull this thing out. But that's one of the things I like about this game. And hopefully we can get through here and, like I said, win. No problem. So we'll try it out. Let's go. You want to see me each time you lose a room. You draw a card. And Your that was the card, a card that I was hoping for. All right. Oh, there it is. So remember when I told you guys before that some characters can go right into battle? Well, normally I would summon this uh, work clansman. It gives that extra that extra buff that would really put the hurt on somebody. But remember what I'm doing over here. These cards, like I'm behind now five by five. And I can literally put some serious hurt down. We're talking, yeah, we're talking six here. We're talking six damage. So we'll put myself ahead, uh, even though he will get to draw a card from the uh, uh, use of I'm ready for anything. Uh, from the from the use of this rune. When this rune comes out, you get to draw a card. That's how I drew the Battle Rage Ogre. Um, and I, gosh, I wish I could get some magic back because I really want that Orc Clansman out there. But let's make this thing glory happen. And glory. <laughs> It shall be so. Tell me where it hurts. Now, I'm gonna get creamed here. They're either gonna come after these characters, these uh, creatures, or I'm gonna be in some serious trouble. But I think I uh, I don't have too much space left out here, so we'll see how that that goes. Like I said, it's one of the things I haven't tried out yet. I, again, guys, I'm not an expert gamer. I don't even know this game all that well. I'm just using my, my power playing mentality from you other stuff I do. See? Yep. It is oh, Everyone yes. <laughs> oh, there we go. So, we're sitting on three, right? Now. Normally, I would go after my crushing blow card, but I think I'll need that next uh, next run. So, next turn. So, we're going to save that, and we're going to double up here instead. Now, um, let's make sure we can take out everything. Got that there. Going straight to the hole. See why in just a second. Okay. It shall be so. Oops, can't cross the lane barrier. Let's it out. shall be so. See that deals some damage to them as well. Okay. So we're gonna sacrifice Tell our me where it hurts. She's done her job. <gasps> Now we're straight up over there. And glory. See, now I'm only down two, and I'm in a good position. 
Like I said, it's it sucks, but you know, next next turn we are raining down fire because if we can get a a two in here, I can get this crushing blow, and uh, we can really make some some smart use of things. Good night. You won't see me coming. Okay. Well. Six, eight, and ten. One, two, three, four, seven. Much as I would love to end this this turn, we're going to have to do a little work. And next time we should be able to end this. Or I might lose. We're entirely possible that I could lose it. Interesting idea. Oh, here we go. Take the coin and run. You can see that like your magic doesn't, you know, come over the top afterwards. Well. <laughs> Fire does wonders. Four there coming to me from these two. Take it. Like I said I might lose this. I'm not great at this stuff. Oh. Of course. Can't attack that same turn. This one grows impatient. End your turn. And now the weapon that ends this first. I'm a bit of a dick, I won't lie. So, this is it. We win. I know, overkill. I'm pretty big on overkill, though. Victory! So of course, like I said, this is Elder Scrolls. I like the theming. It's it's they're not really characters I recognize too much. Uh, they're good characters, but they're not you know you're not getting uh, uh, named NPCs from Elder Scrolls games. You're getting classes of people. Dropped to his knees, he said that if the hero spared his life. He would show them where the robbers had hidden their ill-gotten treasure. But the merchant demanded justice. And what did your hero do? Hmm. Oh, well, here's a choice. This is new. I can choose. If I kill him, I can get this execute, which is very useful. Or I get the steel scimitar. The weapon cards are good. I'm not. 
Uh, I'm a red guard. Uh, as far as classing, I'll show you kind of that stuff early on. Red guard as far as classing, so I get a lot of weapon cards. Um, this action, though, as long as you've got two power or less, we're going to take the sword uh, only because the uh, the sword could be extremely helpful later on. Um, I get I, The need for weapon cards comes into play a lot, I've noticed, so... Even though that last one was definitely overkill. <laughs> Mercy can be a profitable virtue. So these are the rewards. You get two, uh, usually two, but you can also get uh, more. Like if you level up at the same time as you get, as you won, you'll get multiple boxes. Let's see what we get here. Nice shield. That's very helpful. And soldier okay that could be very helpful that two three having that defense is good I could give him this shield that would turn him into a, a, a three six which would be like ungodly on this game and so far we'll see how it goes when I get deeper in Dominion guards. Oh, they're looking for a rogue blade who matches your description there must be some misunderstanding what kind of misunderstanding? The kind where you thought we'd come quietly. That's a little odd. Uh, special conditions. Oh, wow. So, begins with an Altmer protector in each lane. So, we're probably going to lose this. Because <laughs> I don't have the skill for this. <laughs> Look, guys. I'm not being pessimistic. I just, I, I know that I don't have the skill for this. I'm just enjoying it from a fun thing. I go second. Oh, come on, man. Oh, oh, they're just guards. Oh, well, now that's interesting. They're going to get buffed to all hell later. Okay. So what can I throw out? I got a Nord I can throw out, and that's it. Fault in the name of the Yarl. the ancestors I will never surrender as if right on cue guards must be destroyed before you can attack other enemies in their lane very interesting okay so the question here is to go scimitar or or clansman. Well, the guard can't attack. Let's do it. Okay. It shall be so. It shall oh. be so. Can't do it just yet. We're gonna hold off. You have no idea the power I wield. And here comes some damage. Oh, what do you know? I have a little bit of magicka left. <laughs> Unfortunately, that doesn't have charge, and yes, I did lose, lose that last guy. Um, you have no idea the power oh, I gonna hurt. Like I said, I'm gonna lose this. That was crazy. Child. And that was insanity. Alright. Five workers. Okay. So we got four. A 
awaiting orders. Okay. It shall be so. Yeah, trying to lose pretty badly. You have no idea. Oh, come on, I man. <laughs> Oh, come on. Another one? So, like I said, I'm going to lose. Badly. Alright. He needs that Legion shield. It shall be so. Take these guys out of here. So. Curse you. I hear and obey. I'm gonna lose. Wow. Alright. Before we get anybody out here, first. It shall be so. Second. Alright, 15. Need is to say one damage would do them at three. Tell me your injury. Glory and glory. Stand up. No mercy for you. Their time is at an end. Their time grows short. Oh, come on. How many guards does this dude have? There we go. Tell me where it hurts. Because it can't attack back. Very nice. Glory and glory. Oh. Oh. 
It shall be so. I think, yeah, this is where I die. They'll hit me with both of them. One, and two. No, no, I should've gone after Mariana. Yeah. I told you guys, I'm not good with this stuff. <laughs> that sucks. Oh well. Let's get back in here. Let's try this again. We already know how bad this thing <laughs> is going to hurt, so let's try it. I go second. They get guards in position. Let's see if I can get a, a better initial draw. That'll help a lot. Actually, not bad. Hold in the name of the Yara. Ancestors, I will never surrender. Guards must be destroyed before you can attack other enemies. What are you thinking? Four and three. Yeah. He's going to come at me with that two, because there's no way he goes into that card. You have no idea the power I Take wield. Take damage. Child. All right. Let's try and play a little smart. A little smart. Take on my clan, you take on me. It shall be so. The lane guard doesn't bother no me. Idea the power this is gonna I hurt. Need. I've got my own guard over there. Uh, they're playing basically the same way as last time. I'm not getting the same cards as last time, so that works out better. Into the shield. Lord guard and their deaths can bring glory here. to the empire because I don't think she's going to try and attack uh, well she does it doesn't hurt me as much I still got my legionnaire here as uh, three so I'll be on five next I can double up here it shall be so. Lies broken. On your guard. That did slow things down a bit. Okay. A little bit smarter play. Now she's guard status. Alright, so we might pull this off. You have no idea the power I wield. Now we've gotta turn the jets on. Um let's see here. Four and three. Oh, 
sustain your injury. Okay. Now. Call a grave. It shall be so. It's a fly shot her. Short. Nice guard. All right. There's my boy. First. I'm ready for anything. Now, hey. For honor and glory. Glory and glory. Okay. I'm confident that I can take one hit from this high elf soldier because at worst he's going to kill my watchman. Um, he's probably going to go directly at me, but we're, we're a little bit ahead. We might actually pull this off this time. Ah, I told you. I pretty much knew that was coming. Their time grows short. That's a smart play. That's a really smart play. I actually really like that play. Um, we're gonna put you over here, though. I'll bend the wall. And as you may note, that is basically gonna be game. Uh, and I'll show you why in just a second. Uh, number one, I could not play this round right now and pull this off, or I could literally just overwhelm these folks. So. Let's do I need here? I need to take out the three of them. Yeah, I need to take out the three of them. So Glory and glory. You are out. For honor and glory. I just played bad. I, I told you guys, like, when I play games like this, like, I'm not saying any games are going to be good, but I'm a little bit better when it comes to, like, so your Stellaris, your your Hearts of Iron, things like that. Uh, certainly Soul Extreme Wrestling, uh, where it's just basically the universe of the game, looking wise, trying to get the best matches. Um, but this game's kind of fun. I, I kind of dig it. Uh, I'm sure I'm missing a uh, double toasted thing right now. But, oh, here we go. So, like I said, you get better rewards or you get game rewards. So, here are my better rewards. This is a card leveling up. Remember I told you before about that, that very last card, that one of the six there that I dropped? That comes from this process as well. So, you have the Hive Worker. And I can choose to become a guard character. Or what's Breakthrough do? Oh, now that's very interesting. So, I can make it a guard, which would give me a guaranteed guard without the legion shield or I could make it a breakthrough character and for the, at the same cost which is the important thing here I think I think fortune favor is the bold we're gonna go breakthrough so now I have a high warrior this means that every time this card comes out I'm guaranteed to get whatever the overage is to hit the opponent with which could be extremely helpful much as I like the guard. So let's see what this one is. Willpower bonuses. Alright. Psychic Tiger. I think 
as much as I, I would prop I'm not doing divine convention. That doesn't make any sense. I don't have a lot of creature creatures. I have a lot of well, maybe they're truly creatures as anything. So it might not just be humans. Yeah, it's a it's a smart card, but I, I have a lot of uh, good division. You know, good good creatures that could possibly use it, but not too much. And it costs a lot. That's a late round guard. I think we kind of got to go with the Broom of Prophets here, only because every time I summon another creature, you get a health. All right, that just means every turn I'm getting health back. If I can get this guy in early, I can win a lot, as much as I want that Tiger card. I want, oh wait, I'm actually, this might be another most, I think you get all three, never mind, I take that back. <laughs> That's right, I get all three. So, that'll be nice. Uh, so my divine, my friendly creatures will get a plus one. This will be a late game guard, which will really put the, the hurt on some folks. Because that, a four seven is pretty interesting, at least so far as what I've played. And this ability to gain health every time I summon a creature, just beautiful. Alright, so let's check out, we're going to check out one more chapter. Sure to avoid the roads, but of course, the wilderness has its own dangers. Alright, so I don't know what Shadowlands are. Uh, the game does present a lot of things and, I'll, and then explains it in the match. So we'll see how this goes. Can't attack a wolf until it shows itself. Keep your guard, or these wolves will tear us apart from the shadows. All right. Sentry Tiger, straight up first round. Gotta love that. At least I know I have it ready to Creatures run. played to a shadow lane gain cover for a turn. Creatures with cover can't be attacked. Their deaths will bring glory to the Empire. I'm up with three there. Always good for that. Let's see here. Two wolves are coming. Okay. Now, hey. I know it's going to be older wolves this time. Support cards once played are permanent and yeah, not permanent. Chimera fire. It shall be so. gonna say one more for the tiger, but what do you know? It shall be so. Should 
be good. There we go. If he survives, which he won't. didn't come after me, decided to load up instead. Well, that's very interesting. I could go for the Central Tiger, we're going to use that next turn. Right now, we need some help. So... A waiting card over here. here. I did that backwards. I should have summoned him. Oh, we're first. Should have summoned him first. So I was going to bring him out anyway. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't know why I didn't see that original. My bad. Uh, let's see. Take out what we can. It's a nice overrun there, I tell you. It shall be so. These young pups are not the problem. That broom profiteer was real close to getting come, getting brought out there. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, yeah. I'll take those one hits. Thank you. They have no idea what's coming. Always your rules. Well. So, we could bring out the Senshi Tiger. We could. But I think I have a better idea. Call this overrun. So we will throw down. There's a plan. There's always a plan. Got everybody out here. Everybody should survive. Oh. 
for the grave. I hear and obey. It shall be so. Game. It took a little work. And I was thinking, why is your plan the overkill? I wanted to make sure, just in case I did something wrong, I was still covered. So, this is a, actually pretty nice. Uh, nice little, you know, let's play time. Um, I think, though, we're going to stop here. Um, we'll see what kind of prizes I get, and then we'll cut this video off. Once they dispatch the beasts, they heard a whispering sound. Under a nearby bush, they are cowering wolf pup. Did they take it in? Oh. It's another low end, but it buffs power. I I kind of like it over the cast out action. Let's take the snow wolf. A strong companion. Now, see, that tells me a little something. Like, I kept that. I have a feeling we're going to get a lot more uh, upgrades of these cards. So that's good to it's good to have that. Okay. I can use that. That's going to be very nice. What we got over here? Straight up destroy a creature. Gotta love that. Gotta love that card. Hopefully, I can get to it. That ambush is going to be nice. We've made it. That's Lana's house. And it's crawling with cultists. Lana's must be in trouble. Come on. Okay, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, we are going to uh, get on out of here and stop this recording. But that was about that was about 50 minutes worth of gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first look into Elder Scrolls Legends. I am, of course, uh, the Ruthless Wonder, not a Ruthless Wonder. And this has been... Uh, Cheater's Guide to the Universe. Um, check us out. Don't forget to check out Revanchist Gaming. Uh, of course, uh, Vantanel and uh, STL Solo. Um, they're all, all on YouTube, and you can always find us all easily for our live streams uh, via uh, weekendlife.com. That's W K N D L I F E.com. Take care. See you guys next time.